In our laser business, rubber stamps are a top selling product, so we have a lot of experience making them. Whether you're looking to add them to your laser business or wanting to make them just for fun, you might be wondering what's the best way to go about making them. In this video, Dave shows you how we make rubber stamps and provides some tips and tricks to help you get started. Rubber stamps. We make them a lot. Every single day. So I guess it was time we made a quick video on how to do it. Before I engraved anything, I needed something to use as a stamp handle. There are a lot of options that will work. The handle just needs to be firm and have a flat side for mounting the rubber. In this case, I used some half inch square hardwood dowels cut down to a reasonable length. You should be able to find these square and round dowels at your local hardware store. We'll also provide a link to all materials used in the description below. When you set up your job in your laser software, hopefully you have a rubber stamp option. This kind of setting will invert the design and automatically factor in shoulders, which will increase the stamp design stability when stamping. The rubber sheet I use to engrave these stamps is made by Trodat. It's called Aero Plus and is 2.3 millimeters thick. Its best feature is that, unlike other stamp rubber, it doesn't smell when engraved. Yay! I was able to engrave the stamp in one pass on our Trotec 120 watt BD400 laser but this can be done in a few passes if you have a lower powered laser. To clean the dust off the rubber sheet, it was placed in our special cabinet and blown off with compressed air. If you're only making a few small stamps like this, you can just blow them off outside or go directly to a sink and wash them off. I want to stress that making rubber stamps creates a lot of dust. If you're going to be doing this a lot, I would recommend watching our other video related to dust control. After the majority of the dust was blown off the rubber sheet, I then washed it. Again, you could bring this directly to a sink, but we've avoided that because of the sludge that would be running down the drain. I just gave the rubber a spray with water, agitated it with a brush, and then blotted off the dirty water. We also have a video with a more in-depth look at how we clean off our rubber stamp rubber if you're interested. I didn't mention it before, but our software allows us to add links to the cut job. This way the stamps stay attached to the sheet and don't fall out then we can just pull them out after they've been cleaned. If your laser software doesn't have this feature, you should be able to create these links manually in your design software, though it's not really necessary. It's just nice because it keeps everything together. The only thing left to do before I could assemble the stamps was mark the design on the top of the handles. If you were making a lot of the same stamp, you could just use one stamp to stamp the design on all subsequent handles. You could also print out stickers to stick to the top. Since we already had the designs from the rubber engraving step, it was a simple matter to just engrave the top of the handles with the designs. The rubber stamps we make daily are fixed to the handles using a double-sided adhesive pad that is already pre-sized for the handle. That's just one option though. The most obvious way to fix the rubber to the handles with glue. So I use some E6000 glue which works really well as a permanent option. You could also use some double-sided craft adhesive for a less permanent option. Keep in mind that when doing this step, you need to make sure that the rubber is facing the right way relative to the design on the handle. Hooray! Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think and if you do anything different when making rubber stamps. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more projects coming soon. Stay tuned.